When you feel like giving up, don't. When you're thinking about giving up, don't. When it look like you ain't gonna make it, keep going. When they tell you you can't, come on, man, who are they? When they tell you you're not gonna make it, don't believe them, man. Don't believe them. You got to be relentless. Don't give up. Don't give up. Stay in it. Stay focused. Quitting guarantees the failure. Once you quit, it rules out any chance. What's going on, guys? This is episode four? Four. Episode four um, of, we're going to keep this going. We're going to keep it the Making the Statement series going. Uh, so, guys, we, last time you saw was the leg day video. Back to basics. Crushed me. I was messed up for a couple days after that, uh, to <laughs> say the least. Um, but we've changed the, uh, the programming around, not necessarily the exercises, but um, as we're getting deeper into the um, dieting phase, we are just kind of pulling back on some intensifiers and yeah, stuff like that. Yep, yep. So, um, yeah, so just manage recovery. And um, I think that's a good point before we get started to make is that, you know, you always hear people say, you got to train the same way you do through prep, but there's some caveats to that, right? 100%, because you also got to realize, right, as food volume is getting lower, your recoverability has to be more managed. Therefore, you got to pull back on the drop set, the amount of super sets you're doing, whatever it is that originally you were able to do when you had more food in you for energy. So you have that pull back a little bit, but it's hard mentally because you're already on that mission, but you have to realize sometimes you have to make adjustments with needed. 100%. So, like, a good point that we were discussing the other day is, um, he's like, you change everything else. You change your training, you change, I mean, you change your, your supplementation, you change your nutrition. Why doesn't the training get adjusted too, right, as you get deeper into prep? So, um, that's a good uh, thing for you guys to remember as you're going deeper into your preps, that uh, not only does your supplementation and not only does your uh, nutrition change, but sometimes the training has to change as well. Um, but we're still keeping the intensity. That always saves. Um, so, here today we have a back workout. Uh, this is back day number two, um, a little bit different from the first one that we, uh, that we usually do. Uh, so here we're going to start off with some assisted pull-ups, uh, go over to some barbell rows, and then, then uh, dumbbell rows. Dumbbell, uh, single dumbbell rows, mid-grip cable pull-downs, overhand grip um, pull-downs, yep. cheetah rows, and then we go right into some, ha some hamstring, hamstring and, and then glute work yep. as well. So we're throwing it all at the posterior chain today, baby. Yes, sir. So it's going to be a crazy one. Um, I'm sauced up. I got all my supplements in me. I'm ready to rock and roll, um, and we're gonna do the damn thing. I, I, I like to add. I think this is the first time we're doing back together. Yeah, man. We always done push yeah. days and stuff together. Yo, I'm excited. So it's gonna be a good one. That's gonna be a good one. Um, like you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna really feel this one. Right. And um, so, guys, we're here again at the training center, and uh, we're gonna get rocking and rolling. So we're gonna do a warm up round here of uh, assisted pull ups, as you can see. Um, this is an advertisement, of course, right now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, uh, but no, if you, uh, these are actually pretty awesome. We actually just came out with these Iron Rebel. These are the Iron Grips. Um, so they're really comfortable. The padding's super dope. Um, I used to get like bruises from holding heavy weight and the pad would be so thin it would just like cut into my wrist. Uh, so these don't do that here. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, yes, code Carlos for 10% off of your training gear at ironrebel.com. Let's get it going, bro. Uh, now that uh, shit's out of the way. So, we start, so same thing as his uh, first back day. We start with pull ups, except we're going to do a sister version. So he's a little more stable. And also, a cool thing here is since we're doing it assisted, where he's more stable, we're able to draw a little more time with attention by controlling the tempo on the way down, get a nice pull at the top. Also, you know, reducing any potential joint integrity issues from the elbow and the wrist from pulling. So. It's really good variation to use. Drop a little bit of weight. Makes these things a little bit easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we do uh, overhand grip and neutral grip. Same thing we do on the first back day when we did the uh, body weighted. So Nice little variation to really hit this whole, you know, upper back and mid back situation with thoracic areas and all that good stuff. Yeah, we think amplified really good. Get a nice stretch on my bottom, 
Uh, more so what he was mentioning earlier, you know, you just, you really get to control the tempo a little bit more. Um, and then, you know, when you're getting, when you're a little bit heavier, it does wear on like your wrists and your, um, your elbows. Yeah. I've experienced that before doing like a lot of, um, unassisted pull-up versions, but it's good to throw, throw them in there. So. Like we said, we do them on uh, Monday. No, Monday? Tuesday. No, tu on Tuesday. He's Tuesday. <laughs> he's on Tuesday. Tuesday and Saturdays, is, and, and Saturdays usually. Um, and uh, energy is a bit low today because we're training five days straight this, this week. Um, mostly because so tomorrow, June 24th, this will be um, over by the time you guys see this, but it's the uh, Aries annual party in Mount Laurel, New Jersey. So a lot of cool people be there. Greg Lunsford, Groove. Um, Quint Beastwood, Victor Martinez, Johnny Jackson, myself. Uh, so if you guys were there and you saw me, comment below. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So only two rounds here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's why I did it. That's why I know you, you, you do one eighty, you do seven. Yeah. Yeah. Straight yeah. Session. Straight to it. Makes sense. Looks good. Like, like, Damn, am I gonna leave or not? Nah, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, we're good. I peeped it. <laughs> got you, got See you. right here. We got like that, that mental yeah, we, telepathy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I already knew what he was doing before he knew what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I peeped it. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man. Oh yeah, of course. <sighs> and, and that and that's one of the um, the cool things about having that chemistry, right? Is I kind of know where he's at with it mentally, and he knows my methodology, how I go about my programming. So he knew what to expect, and I know where he's coming from, as far as how he's feeling. So I, I make sure I don't do anything ridiculous, <laughs> for his like progression of the of the weight. And if he, if he feels a certain way, and like in, in a good way, like give him a little head nod, and then you can go up. And then if he doesn't, you know what I mean, change it. So, in here, um, I have uh, about a scoop and a half of Amino Tour, the summer Snapple flavor. So fire, bro. You ever had like a Snapple before? Yeah. All right, so this is like a peach raspberry flavor. Bruh. It's probably like one of my favorite parts of like just work out, like the workout. <laughs> it's like when I just did a set and I was like, just need something to like really crush my thirst. So, yeah. Like this bad boy here, man, is probably one of the best tasting amino uh, products I've ever had. So, Amino Tour, code CARLOS10 at checkout. <laughs> yeah, 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 at, uh, pro <laughs> for Project AD. Like, what I found here is is that uh, you know I can row four plates, <laughs> I can do all that heavy shit, um, but it's all about you know what, what can you feel, what can you squeeze and control. So here, like Kyle mentioned, we're kind of trying to keep that that torso um, parallel to the ground and just really uh, accentuating the stretch in the squeeze. <laughs> Like 
a, a very allergenic type way for like let's say for prep or anything like that. You know, uh, some people can't like can't be a hoodie. Yeah. It gets too hot. Start yeah, I mean, I just like to, to, to break a nice sweat first, you know, yeah. and then I'll take it off. Um, but th as far as like, you know, thermogenic burning fat, you know, you're just going to lose some water, which is cool. Um, but I, I like the feeling of it, you know, get a good sweat going, the psychological effect of like you're working. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, once it does get a little bit too hot, <laughs> I'll take it off. Take it off. Hell yeah. Um, but yeah, I like to do my cardio and hoodies. I'll even wear a sauna suit um, sometimes. And you know, that's just mostly because it traps the heat in, makes you, your body work a little bit harder to cool itself down, helps elevate the heart rate a little bit easier without having to really increase the intensity of the cardio. So it definitely helps. It, it's not a necessity, right? No, it, no, no, no. I like to throw it in like every now and again, like a sauna suit or something. Um, but again, uh, it's more it's also like just the psychological effect of it too, like they're yeah. really working. Um, I definitely yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you see Sean, man, Sean Corrida, he trains in big hoodies, big sweats all the time. All the time. Yeah. So, I don't know how he do it sometimes. I'm like, yeah, that's hot. I gotta he, take it off. He covers up, covers up. Covers up all the way up. Hoodie, hoodie all the time. Hoodie down to here. Yeah, right? So, let's get into it. First, uh, First working set right here. The first working set for 10 to 12. And again, like the, main, the main objective is just trying to control the load through the total of 10 to 12 reps. So we're not trying to yank, not trying to make his, uh, his uh, back elevate up and down every time yeah. he goes to a rep. Yeah. So the key is being as stable as possible and working through repetitions. See, as you can see, like Kyle was mentioning, I want to make sure my torso was in the right position, controlling the eccentric, controlling the concentric. Not overly controlling the concentric, but I'm not yanking it um, and using a lot of momentum. So, barbell exercises, barbell rows, um, you know, staple exercise, Dorian Yates did them, you know, Ronnie Coleman, all that good stuff. But remember, guys, you're not Ronnie Coleman. You don't have to row four plates, you know? <laughs> it's all about how you do the exercise. But we will go up and wait, because that felt good. Yeah, it's probably, I'd have to say, I like dumbbell rows. I like dumbbell. Yeah, I like dumbbell rows. Yeah. Um, and then, when I first started, I really liked pull-ups and chin-ups. Because I was like 180 pounds. And I could just do like 30 of them straight. Yeah. Now, now, now he's like 100 pounds over, right? Yeah, so. <laughs> I, could just, I could just rip those. So, they were really like my favorite exercises um, honestly man I love them all you know I love whatever makes me better you know so throw it all at me I'll do it whatever it takes yeah got a little hot so Again, I could probably do three if I really moved it, like with 
you know, a lot of aggression and a little bit of body anguish, but that was good. We'll do a, a back off set here. Yeah, we'll do a back off set here. A little bit more squeezes, uh, more control. So here we go. We're going to do a back off set here. Um, remember how I mentioned earlier is that, you know, we kind of took out some of the intensifiers, drop sets, supersets. Uh, so now we're more implementing more of a top set, back off set kind of deal. So then that way we still get that density of work, as you say. But, you know, we also get a little bit more volume in there too. No, so as you can see, like, I basically took it to where I could with the form and, and the cadence and tempo that I had. So at that point, I just threw in a little, a little bit of body English. And if these weren't here, I'd transition to more of a pedle row, yeah. as, he made, as, as we did before. So I'd let the weight come to a dead stop, kill the momentum, and then aggressively drive it up. Control it, let it come to a dead stop and then aggressively drive it up. So that's a good transition if you do hit failure on these, is a transition from a traditional barbell row to like a pedley row. But uh, these are here, so I couldn't do that. So I just went straight to just repping it out. Whoo wee So those are done, boxed off. We're gonna head over to the dumbbell rows. And uh, it's gonna be, we usually do clusters here but um, what, what approach do you want to take on it this week? Yeah, so again, for two reasons specifically. One, as we're getting closer towards, you know, food's getting a little bit lower, we notice that his recovery is starting to get a little diminished a little bit in the prior phase we were in with the, with the training method. So we pull back on some of the tempo powers we were doing, yeah. you know, top set back off, and his feedback is, hey, man, I'm, I'm feeling it, but in a good way, he's not dragging. Where as we get toward the end of his split of the week, He's not, he's not so beat down. And with yeah. him, get ready to go to an event this weekend, we're training five days in a row, we need to make sure we, we manage all of that. You know yeah. what I mean? Not overdoing it, make sure we get exactly what we need to get done, and that's it. Yeah, so huh, that was um, something that we, we talked about. Again, it just, you know, testimony to the relationship that we have, you know I mean, the brotherhood that we have. It's, we're able to bounce feedback off each other really relatively very easy. So. He knows, hey man, I got the event coming up. This is how we have to move things around, blah, 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 blah. And uh, that way I'm still progressing, but I'm not running myself into the ground because I got that dog mentality where if, if, I, if, I, if need be, I'll do that and then some. And it's a detriment to myself. So it's good to have him, like people like Kyle, Andrew, to tell me, hey, all right, big dog, we're gonna have to, you know what I mean, chill because you, you're doing too much. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's easy, for, easy to happen. Yeah, yeah. So, whew, here we go. Let's go get it. All right, so we're getting ready for dumbbell rows here. Um, last week we did a little bit of modified off the, off the, the bench, um, but we're going just uh, regular dumbbell rows here. We're going for a set of eight to 10. Yes, yeah, so you do. Yeah. Eight to ten, and then toss up six to eight, and then a back off for back to ten to twelve or ten. You know what I mean? So yeah. usually, yeah. So usually, uh, after you do his aggressive top set, whatever that is, six to eight, and then we go right into try to get a, a good four to five more reps on the following. Uh, yeah. Set. So there you go. That's a good tip for you guys. You know, if you are doing the back off set, um, you want to try to aim for like four to five more reps. So we get six on the top, six to eight. You know, you want to aim for ten to twelve. All right. Uh, yeah, warm it up? Yes, I want to do the hundreds. Uh, yeah, grab me. It's better than when I was talking about it. Yeah. <laughs>
What's that? You've been a little bit more active on social media. You've noticed that? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get better at it. Um, my goal is um, to continue to put out some more educational content and um, you know, also put out some fun stuff as well and uh, get more into my, my process of you know, how I prepare for any upcoming events or how I just do my thing as a bodybuilder in general. I mean, like I tell you all the time, it's like homework, guys. Yeah, so, like I was just talking to you about like, hey man, like, what kind of vlogging camera do I need? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So, yeah, we're trying to level it up and just get better in all facets of life. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a, there's a new generation out there, you know? And, uh, you know, my goal is to not only lead from the front and here, but also lead from the front in other, method, in other ways of life. Show people that it's possible. You know what I'm saying? Go out there, surround yourself with good, with good people. You know what I'm saying? A good family. <laughs> so, that's done. Boxed off. Next we do, um... Yeah, so now we have mid-grip mid uh, pull-downs. So, take a breather. Let the body come down a little bit. And then we're gonna hit those. Yeah, so rep ranges, we're gonna go here. First set, 12 to 15. Second set, 10 to 12. And then 10 to 12. One of one, baby. One of one. Feeling good. Feeling good. I'm gonna speak it into existence. I'm feeling good. Just keep telling myself that. You excited about the event tomorrow? I am. It was wonderful. We had it last year. Last year was in May. Um, so this year, um, it's gonna be really fun. It was awesome time, man. Like it was. Uh, so many people came out, showed so much love, showed so much support. Of course, I'll be there with Project AD. Well, and um, I'll be there, uh, you know, just supporting Pat, owner of, of Aries. Really good dude. I was recently on his podcast too, the uh, Aries podcast. So, yeah. So if you uh, see this video, guys, check it out. Uh, we kind of dove into the mindset of like myself and you know the support I have and. Uh, you know, how um, how I keep going, even though in the face of set, certain setbacks, like the New York Pro Prep. And um, yeah, check it out, guys. It's a really good podcast. So. Yeah, I know. I try to get it. Yeah, that's cool. That's good. Yeah, you, was, you, you, you get a true 10. Yeah. Right? See what I'm Man. Feeling it. Super feeling it. But we go home. We, uh, we have our post-workout meal. Relax for the evening. That's the best time. Yeah, that's the best time. Put a movie on. I love movies. Which movie? Which, what's your favorite movie? Oh man. So last night we watched. Um, Kyle popped over. We watched Creed 2. 
That's probably one of my favorite ones, yeah. That's a really good that was a really good one. If you haven't seen it, definitely check yeah, it out. Yeah, check out Creed 2. The third one's good too. The third one recently came out. It's good, but uh, Creed 2 is my favorite one. What's your favorite movie of all time? Dude, it's so hard. It's fucking tough. <laughs> I love so many movies, man. I'm a movie guy. So, no, I don't know. question. What, what's a movie that you could continue to rewatch? Rewatch. That's the best way, yeah. Which one? Honestly, I have a few of those, but I have to say it's. Um, I could rewatch. It's like a cult classic, though, but it's called The Crow. Okay, okay. Yeah, right, yeah, it's called The Crow with Brandon Lee, Bruce Lee's son. I could rewatch that movie. That's fucking awesome movie. And then um, there's like comedy movies, like we were talking about, like Anchorman. Yeah. Could rewatch Anchorman, Super Bad, all that stuff. One one that I recently just rewatched was, ah um, oh, man, it's the uh, Skyfall. James Bond movie. That's my shit. I can rewatch that movie over and over. So, those are my favorite, like, what are some of my favorite movies? And I love, like, I like, I like, like, deeper movies, too. Um, Eternal Sunshine with Spotless Mind. Memento is a good one. If you guys ever seen Memento. I love all fucking movies. So, comment below some of your movie suggestions and I'll watch them. Yeah, next one we'll do um we'll do a true chest workout. The last ones will just push like chest and shoulders. So the next video we'll probably get is a true chest workout. Um you guys will see how we structure your um the chest days. Really, really good. So We'll finish this one off first, though. That's it for back right there. Next is uh, Hammies. 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 Yeah, it's only like that because we had this, you know, condensed the five days. So we normally just do two hamstrings, one glute. So right now we're either gonna add in a third hamstring or just increase the uh, number of sets for the two by one. Uh, so instead of three, we do four, um, four, four of the of the superset. So we'll see. We're gonna have a meeting of the minds real quick and and figure it out. But from uh, convenience sake, we'll probably just superset the uh, the seated in the lying right here, and then add an extra set because then the kneeling's way over there. So uh, correction about earlier, so we're going to do, um, we usually do two cause here because it's super set, so um, we're going to add a third set. Yeah, so a third set, so three total working sets here, uh, rep range is from 10 to 12? Yeah, 10 to 12, 12 to 15. 12 to 15, yeah, so we'll fill it out. So. <clears throat> Ah, fuck. 
Ah, oh, fuck. He's not weak, guys. He's not weak. He's tired. I'm not weak. I'm just tired. tired. <laughs> now we... That's a wrap on the hamstrings. We have uh, one glute exercise, and that's going to be um, the butt blaster. So, yeah, you know, you got to train glutes, so. Yeah. So last time you saw on the leg day, we did the, um, the hip thrust. So today we do the, um, the, uh, the butt blaster, and it really mimics, like, stepping back into, like, your back double or stepping back into like your back lat spread. So when you really tighten up those glutes, you're gonna see that detail etched in there. So let's go and get that done. And then that's a wrap. Right. Yep. So last uh, exercise for the day here, we have the uh, the butt blaster. Yeah, for the ladies, you know what I'm saying? Um, everybody likes a small booty. <laughs> so what we're gonna do here is, what was it, 12, 15? Yeah, 12 or 15 reps, and then we'll progress on the lead. Yeah, and, and then, like we mentioned before, um, this is really cool because the way you turn your foot, it basically mimics, you know, stepping back into, like, your, your back double or your back last spread and, you know, really etches out that glute detail. So let's get it done. <laughs> They're gonna look better than that nationals. Whenever we step on stage, I don't know when that is. Winky, what's that wink face? It's a, it's a combination of everything, you know? Like, it's not like a single, like, exercise, right? I know for a fact that, like, when I was, you know, trying to, you know, we try to start building our glutes, we started doing the hip thrust, right? Hip thrust, glute bridge, kick back type movements, step back lunges, step ups. Yeah, we did a shit ton of those before. Um, so it's a, it's a ton of exercises that, you know, that, you know, will hit the glutes and bias in certain angles and, and uh, lengthening them in like certain, certain positions. Like we just did the, um, the Bulgarians the other, the other time, the leg day, you know, that right there is hitting the glutes too. Working on it, hitting that glute tie in. Um, so it's not just one single exercise, but hey, you know, this helps. <sighs> How many people can tell you they went to failure? Well, how many male bodybuilders can tell you they went to failure on a on a glute <laughs> on a butt blaster? Zero. <laughs> right there. Yeah, man, Jesus. Uh. God damn it, you you old sailor, you <laughs> you son of a gun. Oh man. I tell you, every time I come in here, he kicks my ass, man. But it's good. <clears throat>
<laughs> pause. 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 Super pause. Super pause. Uh, Super pause. Right, yeah, 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 we're gonna say that. Yeah, Gotta say pause on this stuff, so. Whew. I'm gonna need something to lean on real quick. There we go. Um, it was good. It was intense. This is probably the most volume we do in one one uh, workout session. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but overall it was great. I'm dragging a bit, but uh, you know we feed off the energy of each other. He was dragging a bit, but you know we go in, yeah. we get the moving, and uh, things start picking up. The weather's shitty outside, but <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> Look at that, terrible. But we're not gonna let it affect the mood. Um, overall, I thought it was a good workout. How about you? It was really good. Um, yeah. We, and, and the fact that we know what movements that really sync with your body really well. Yeah. Not, not just execute on point, regardless how we're feeling. Exactly. You know, you know what, what, what what's working, how to click. And based on that, we just, we just feed off of that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's really nice. So I think it was overall a really good session. Yeah. Overall, it was good. Um, so, you know, we just want to keep progressing and keep moving forward because, uh, you know, we got some goals to take care of, and um, you know we want to be undeniable, and those goals are non-negotiable, right. no matter what, yeah. no matter how you feel, we get them done. Um, so we're gonna wrap it up here, guys. I really appreciate you guys tuning in from myself, my boy Kyle, and uh, from the man behind the camera, my boy Chris right there, next level visionary. You guys, thank you very much. I really appreciate you tuning in. Uh, don't forget to, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, please let us know what you'd like to see on the next one. Um, I'm going to try to get some some vlogging in myself. Uh, you know, spoke to Chris about like, what camera I should get and all that stuff. So I'm going to attempt to do it. That's a thing I'm going to make a non-negotiable that I'm going to try to go through and make sure that I get you guys. Yeah, 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 I'm going to get it done. I'm going to get it done. I'll make sure I get you guys the content and uh, bring you along for the journey. Um, because uh, I feel that, you know, when you're when you're trying to achieve something great, you know, it, it, it's it's all it's it's good to show others that it's possible. Um, so, from me, my boy Kyle, from the guy behind the camera, Chris, thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.